Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Swan. On this video I'm going to use Materia UI calendar component with React.js. Now on this video I'm going to build the Materia UI component which is going to be looks like this. I built this website a few years ago. Like you can see we have a working calendar here. We can choose different dates. Obviously, in this application, I'm working with database. Don't worry about the rest of the page. What we can do is, let me see. Last time when you trained, I want to delete this. Um, I can choose an exercise, like I did pull-ups. How many pull-ups did today? Maybe 50. Four and all together. This application purpose is to track exercises. Here, what we can see, we have a check in the above the the date and i'm going to show you how to put that there and uh, we can use the date as how we want so if i give you an example i trained in 20 of july then i just chose what i trained i did push-ups and i did 150 and all done and if i go back to 20 of july on that date i have the check mark okay this is what we're going to build only the calendar but we're not going to interact with the database if someone will be interesting how this application I build it, just leave me a comment down below. And maybe if I have enough comments, enough people to interesting about it, I will make a video about this whole application. But right now, I'm just choosing the calendar. What is Materia UI? Materia UI is a simply library that allows us to import and use different components to create a user interface in our React applications. This saves a significant amount of time since the developers do not need to write everything from scratch. We need Node.js, download Node.js and install. Then we need a code editor. In this case, I'm using Visual Studio Code. You use whichever you like it. I prefer the Visual Studio Code. Then uh, we need React, we need to install React, or in this case, I'm going to use Beat. Now, Beat is just a next generation front end tool, like how it says. It's just installing much quicker and faster the React app for me. You will see how faster it will be. So let's get started first. Let's install Beat, npm create Beat copy. Go to the terminal and just paste it here. Give a name, I say calendar component enter choose react enter choose the top one react that's the react J javascript the bottom one is a typescript enter and that's it so now cd calendar go to the directory and npm install is all telling you there what to do npm install This is done, and let's see what we have here. We got a package.json file, we got the public, we got the source code, and in the source code we have a main GSX. This is the difference between Wheat and uh, normal React. Here we have a GSX file, and uh, React we have a JS file. This is the main app, and we have the app GSX. And let's run this, npm run dev, and we can open this in a local host. And this is our React app. Let's make it smaller. Okay. Now this is our React app. If I want to change something, like let's change this calendar app and saved it and already done. It's super fast. Now we don't need all of these. Let's clean this up. We just leave one main class and uh, I put H1. Let's say calendar. Okay, we have only the calendar. We don't need the set count. This is done. Let's clean up a little bit main JX. This is fine. Index CSS, the root element. We don't need color scheme. We don't need all of these. No, let's delete this. Okay, don't need the H1 done so we have the white background now font size line height font weight min width okay we got this and clean up 
up CSS. What we need here, we don't need from here all the way down to the bottom. We don't need anything. That's it. So this is cleaned up. And let's start with Material UI and start to implement our code. Let's go here and get started. I'm going to go back to full screen. Get started. Installation. NPM install Material UI Motion React. So copy this. Just get here and uh, paste it in. Okay, this is done. We got Material UI installed here. So what we're going to use here. When you're working with the library like Material UI, your best friend will be the documentation. The documentation on the left side here. You go to the components and you choose uh, whatever you want. We are going to use badge later on. This is the little icon. Then you go, we're going down to data time picker. Here, if you see, you choose NPM and we're going to use data funds. So we need to install this. First, we have to install the data picker, which is, this is how we set up. Let's go back to our terminal, install the data picker. This is done. Then we have to install that one. This is the date format, what we're going to use. Okay, back to the terminal. Okay, this is all done. Now we can go back npm run dev. So we have all dependencies is installed all here we can close this now we can go back to our site calendar okay. then let's go to the menu and go to the data picker now here we can choose a lot of different data picker like this one and how to do this you go extend it this you just copy all of these and you insert it now before i'm doing this i want to create a new file here okay let's go to the source um, um, component components i've got a new folder as components and inside in the components folder i'm creating calendar jsx and here i just do a boilerplate here calendar component save this and let's import you don't need the react logo and the use import and import here components slash calendar slash that's it okay and now import calendar from and we can replace this with the calendar one let's see what's happening yes calendar from component so our component is connected and let's go to the component going to use let's extend it fully have a look at this so we have a loads of data picker here depends which one you like i like these you can choose any of these if you like it you just go to the code and copy all the code but what i'm going to use is landscape orientation this one going to choose the javascript yes i'm going to use this format so first let's copy all of these and here we have react just paste it in so let's clear this up I'm not going to use this one, the text field. This one I'm not going to use. Adapter dates fund, I need it. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. I don't need all of these now anymore. I can change this to localization provider. Probably it's easier. Let's copy this. Yep. Copy this. Paste them in. Okay, static data picker. We don't need these save also i need to place here you have to create this here and now there you go we have the whole calendar here i want it to have a different look and let's organize this so i don't like the way how is it looks you have everything in the documentation if you want to change something here now if you're coming back to the data picker mode this is what we choose. We're going to the API references, calendar picker, and let's see all the props, what they can take it. So if I go to data picker, if I go to the orientation, it says landscape, and I want to change this to portrait. Back here, let's change this. 
to port rate. Yes, now we changed it. Now to have the badge inside, we need to take the badge from Material UI. So let's import, let's close this. If you try to find something, I just go there to badge and we got all the badges here and you can see import, import the badge. Let's go back to the, I am importing the badge. I need to import the pickers day. Let's save this from here. Let's place the badges on the top. So go back to the react page and choose this dynamic data. Go to, go to the source code. And from here, we need to copy the render day, render day. And goes all the way down here. Copy that. Come to your code and place this in and save. Also, also we need to say which data we need. So I'm going to copy this highlighted data, copy, just paste them in here. Save. Let me destructure the use state. Use state. We don't need this here. I uh, know what is wrong. Render day. Let's take this out. And uh, is it goes in here. And now it's saved. And here we go. So we got those badges on the top. Now we don't depends the data what's coming from the database. Right now the state is contained one, two, fifteen. But we don't see the number one because this should be greater than or equal to zero. Now we can see the number one. Let's put another one five and twelve. I don't need a fifteen. Okay. Now to change this here, we can bring in another component, which is called icon, but to use them, we have to install them. So just go up here, type in icons, material UI icons. And we have to install these. So how do we do that? Just go there, npm install, copy that, and go back. Go back to the terminal, exit from this, control C. It's done. Here we go, icons, material UI is in. Go back to the file, npm run dev again. Now let's find check. And this is the icon what I'm using. Copy this, we have the checked, and uh, just import to the top, check in icon, and this one just simply needs to be replaced. Is how does it save? Check icon. Okay, before I save, I just go back and saved. Here we go, it's all got changed. Now we have the lovely, beautiful checked icon. Change the design. Is material UI is get injected lost to the DOM element. So it's mean the simplest way right now to override them to use the import or maybe I do another video about to to the style components how to in the CSS so we easily we can override the material UI design. But right now what I'm going to do Open the app.css file, then let's start to do some changes here. So first of all, I want to get rid of these. So check the selectors and get saved and it's all gone. Now, how do you do that? Just go to the inspect elements and now I want to get rid of this. Let's make it a little slightly bigger. 
and we can see is the whole element is this one this is what i need to get rid of it and simply just click on it Control c go to the next Control v and simply just write display none and should important that's it that is gone also i want to get rid of it this one Yeah, which is this one. I just copy this in. That is gone. I want to do some spacing better. I want to make it center the top and make orange the background. Now let's make the background color orange. Okay, this is better. Again, how do you choose it? Just go there. Is this one? And choose the selectors. Move I selected. This is the selected. I want to change the date. Okay, this is get orange. Let me show you. I want to change the color for this badge. Copy and uh, let's change the color. Color. That should be lime green. Color changed. Now I need to change the selected one. Okay. Now this is orange as well, the selected one. Let's create. Go to. Up JSX and create a header h1 calendar and I will give a class name of header text save this go back to the CSS and we should yes we have a calendar now okay let's make a box shadow a little bit just to be a bit different there you go and uh, I think pretty much that's it we have a working calendar with the local state using badge. It wasn't that difficult. It's just only things what you have to do is go through the documentation all the time. So whenever you need a component, could be a popover or a timeline. Just go here. It's simply as that. Now, if you like this video and you wanted to know more about Material UI, just uh, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you're interested in the next one. Maybe I can make a video about the circle, all these pickup ones. I use this from Material UI, all the graph. One more very interesting feature, which is I'm almost forgot. So one more props when the component can take. I can click anywhere here. If you're going to my calendar, the rest one is disabled. This is the exercise tracker, so you cannot do any exercise in the future. So to do that, go back here and uh, just under this value, we should make a props disable future and saved. And here we go. Now I cannot click on the future. It's up to you if you want to use it or not. You can take it off. But this is how I like it. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.